If you contact a sales outsourcing consultancy, a sales outsourcing agency, they will pitch you all the reasons why you should go with their company. The reality, however, is not that simple. My name is Alex Valasidis. I'm the head of V Paragon, an established European sales outsourcing agency. And in this video, I will explain to you all the pros and cons for choosing a sales outsourcing consultancy. Thank you. Choosing to outsource your sales, it's a decision that has certainly many benefits. It has also many things that speak against uh, such a choice. What speaks against? The number one thing that speaks against is the loyalty of the salespeople and the loyalty of the freelancers that will work in your project. That is something that I and my business we are facing constantly. That means we collaborate with a freelancer, we collaborate with someone and this someone um, proves not to be reliable. I'm in this business in seven years, so V Paragon has its own salespeople. We have people that we know since many years, so that we minimize that aspect of the business. However, even with us, that is a negative factor that influences negative our business. The second thing that you need to consider is the lack of control. One thing is that you have your office with your salespeople sitting in your office. You are there next door. You can hear what they say. You can hear their pitch. You can see them working. And another thing is that you source that out. You give all this vital aspect of your business to a third party that works also with freelancers that are based in a variety of different countries around the globe. The third aspect is freelancers are not employees. So if you expect to have a corporate approach of sales and you expect to find that in a sales outsourcing consultancy, you are dead wrong. The reason why is that there is a different mindset on a steady employee that seeks security, seeks um, a company where he will work for the next years to come. And another mindset has a freelancer that works two, three months for this company, two, three months for the other company. Not always because it's his fault. Maybe it's fault also of the companies that hire him, but you get the picture. So if you seek a corporate solution on the freelancing world, you are wrong. Number four is it's very hard to define the KPIs of success when you work with a sales outsourcing consultancy. And the reason why is that many times the KPIs are not strictly defined. V Paragon it's a sales outsourcing consultancy that chases results. We aim to bring results to our clients. Now, the question of how many calls are you going to place? How many hours are those freelancers going to work in this project? are very hard to define and hard to explain. The reason why is that we seek the outcome. I can place thousands of calls by hiring low quality uh, call center type of, of salespeople a good salesperson, an effective salesperson 
it's also an expensive salesperson. So if you want to get an understanding of how many hours this agency is going to invest in your project, do simply the math. How much are they going to charge you on a monthly basis? Let's assume they will charge you on a monthly basis, let's say 4,000 euros. Now, a good software sales consultant is going to cost something around 20 to 25 euros per hour. 25 euros per hour means that if he works 20 hours per week, that has a cost of 500 euros per week equals to 2,000 euros a month. 2,000 euros a month, the freelancer. You paid 4,000 euros to the agency. The agency will make also a profit. How much should make an agency if you pay them 4,000 euros? Shouldn't they make 1,000 euros? So we stay for an, with another 1,000 euros. There are expenses like calls expenses, infrastructure expensive expenses, CRM expenses, uh, lead generation expenses, and so on and so on. And everything will be also taxed. So instead of asking the question, how many hours you will engage, how many calls you will place, do a little bit the maths, understand what is that that you want to sell. Is that a really uh, sophisticated solution or it's something that a less qualified salesperson could sell? And number fifth, when you hire a sales outsourcing agency, the sales outsourcing agency works with employees that are based in different various countries. They don't have an office. The reason why they don't have an office is that they can uh, increase the business or they can decrease the business according to the demand. They don't have a fixed cost because it can be that this month we will have 15 projects to run. It can be that in the summer we will have five projects to run. This business, the nature of its business, the benefits that it gives rely on the fact that you hire freelancers and not employees. Freelancers work from home. It's not the same if you work from home compared to if you work in an office. You work more productively if you are in an office. Those are the misadvantages of hiring a sales outsourcing consultancy. What are the advantages? The number one advantage that you have is that it's immediately applicable. You contact the sales outsourcing agency, they tell you, OK, we need to understand your project. We need to investigate in the markets. Within a month, we will be ready to run this business. You don't have to train employees. You don't have to do the hiring. You don't need to create the infrastructure. You don't need a CRM. You don't need a VoIP service. You don't need um, reporting. You don't need to have all the other tools that are needed to run such an operation. Is ready, is there. Number two benefit is that you hire also the experience you hire the experienced salespeople. We run projects like yours, similar projects, similar scenarios in, in markets where we are comfortable um, selling, in, 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 in industries where we sold before. So you hire the experience. You don't take it from scratch. Number three. It's, it is low risk, low risk in terms of financial low risk because you will pay the monthly fee and 
most agencies, they have a minimum of amount of time that you commit. We have a minimum amount of time of four months. Other agencies, I think they have six months. But you start and you know you can stop it if things don't go as you wished. You don't marry a salesperson. You don't have to pay social insurance. You don't need to pay holidays. You don't need to pay a compensation if you fire the person. You don't need to pay nothing of all this. The final reason, in my opinion, the most important reason, is that if you work with a sales outsourcing consultancy, you are not the only project that they do. They do various other projects. What does this mean? This means that they do not depend on you. And you think that is a bad thing. No, it is not. It's actually a very positive fact. The reason why it's positive is because you will listen not what they want you to hear, but the truth. Well, if you hire a sales manager, the sales manager has its own agenda. He will tell you what you want to hear because you are the only and unique source of income to him but not for a sales outsourcing consultancy. So they will advise you for the benefit of your company. And maybe truth hurts, but it's better to face the truth and bring results than to live in a lie for the next one, two years and conclude nowhere. Thank you for listening. If you found my advice useful, I will be very happy to have a conversation with you. Thank you very much.